Hello! Hot 107.3's Crazy Calls. By the way, do you know what they call me now? I thought you were on a crazy call. One of the people, in fact, the perpetrator of the poo. I know. I'm going to do it. With Crazy Dave Nude. For Scrubbers Car Wash. Open 24 hours. How's Peter going financially? Well, what happened? This is a weird story. So Peter gets a phone call, and I think this has been going on for quite a while. Mm Mm-hmm. And the phone, on the phone they say, and you know how uh, there are people who track down bank accounts that have been unclaimed? Yep. I wish I had one of them. No one's <laughs> rung me with one. And they, he got a phone call saying, are you Peter? Da, 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 da. And he said, yep. And they said, you've got $8,500 in an unclaimed bank account. And he went, oh, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they went on about some that he'd lived in Kingston. He said, no, I haven't lived in Kingston. So it went on and on and on. Then they said, now, all you have to do is to give us your bank account number and your Medicare number and a few other details and we'll be able to put it into your account. So he's sus. And he said, uh, why don't you send me a check? Yep. And they said, well, we don't, send, we don't do it like that. And this has been going on and on, on and off, for I think a couple of years. Hello. Hello, Peter. We rang from the office about the 8,500 you have uh, left in an account for PJ. Yeah? Yes, you haven't got back to us as yet. Oh, well, I, every time they send me that out, I tell them the same thing and I don't hear nothing else. What do you tell them? Oh, they keep saying they want an address at Kingston. What we need is your license number, your Medicare number, and your trust account number, your bank account number. What is that? So that we can put the money into that account? Yeah, I'm not silly, mate. What do you mean? Oh, uh, there's all hoaxes going on about your money these days. What do you mean? Are you saying that I'm hoaxing you? I'm just saying there's a lot of things going around. Peter, um, you must trust people because I have, right now, I have 8,500. We have looked around for someone with your name for over three months. We have rung you. You have not got back to us. No, well, I filled it in three times and I never heard nothing. But before. we need your bank account number so that we can then put the money in. Of course, we'll be taking 500 from the 8,500 for the costs that we have undertaken by searching for you. Yeah, but they keep saying I've got to have an address at Kingston, which I haven't. Well, you can give us an address at Kingston, but we didn't do need your license number, your Medicare number, your bank account number and your PIN number. What I'm saying is they keep saying if I don't give them the address I had it. Some identity of where I lived at Kingston. Mm -hmm. Where did you live? I didn't ever live at Kingston. Ah, you must have. You just tell us that you lived at Kingston. We put the money in the account, but we must have the the bank account number, the PIN number, the Medicare number, the license number. Yeah, I'll get back to you, mate. How are we ever going to resolve this? We have the money here. We have to give it to you. Yeah, I know that, but this has gone on for three years. Three years, I know. Yeah. Do you want the money or not? I want the money, but I don't want to give all my details away. I don't know who you are. Oh, we are the organisation which gives out money, which has been found in bank accounts. Well, why don't you just uh, send the cheque out to the postal address? Then? We don't do cheques, oh, Ob- well. obviously, because if we do a cheque, then anybody can take it. If yeah. we, p- we need to know that we're putting it straight into your account, Peter. Yeah, I'll see you about it. I'll get back to you. Yes, but uh, the, the issue is you are Peter. Uh, yeah, I'm Peter James. Yes, so you are the person who we're looking for. Mm-hmm. We have the money. We have eight thousand five. Now, with interest, it is eight thousand five hundred and two dollars thirty-two cents, mm-hmm. which is ready for you. Yeah. But all we need is your bank account number. Yeah, I'll get back to you on it. But why? Why are you so scared of this? We cannot do anything. We cannot take any money out. Well, what do you want my pin number for? The pin number is so that we can activate the account when we put the money in. No, you. How, how, how else are we going to activate it? Oh, you know, all you have to do is deposit it into the account number. You're not very trusting, Peter, of us. <laughs> why Why don't you trust people? Yeah, I'll get back to you on it. Well, will you get... Hello? Peter, why can't we just finish this for once and resolve it with you? Oh, well, the best thing the letter you sent me, I've still got it here. Yes. I'll take it to me lawyer and let them handle it. Well, will you take it to your brother-in-law? Me brother-in-law? Tim. Yeah? Because he's caught you on a crazy call. Yeah, I'll thump him. <laughs> <laughs> tell him he's an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell him yourself. Oh, right, when, you, when you see him at Christmas dinner. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye. Do you want to catch someone? Yeah. <laughs> 13, 27, 10. It's Kim and Dave.